Hello, friends. Welcome to Art Week 16. Uh, we are in a green uh, folder on Schoology, week 16 to 17. Uh, the project we're starting now is going to take us two class periods to get done. So we'll just do part of it today, uh, which you won't need to turn in, but you'll want to save the work that you do today uh, so that we can finish this project uh, in our next lesson, uh, next time we have art. So let me go ahead and uh, share my screen here and we can get into our lesson. So let's look at this picture that you see on the screen. Look very closely and tell me, what do you see in that picture? All right, very good, right? It's a, it looks like a picture of uh, a man uh, with a beard, but when you look very closely, what is that picture made out of? I see, I see flowers in there. I see fruits in there. Like it looks like his nose is made out of a pear. Uh, the cheeks look like they might be apples. I see some berries in there. Um, I see some corn, some grapes in his hair. Uh, so it looks like he's like made a lot of like food, right? With with some flowers on there too. All right, so we're gonna. Uh, talk about uh, the artist who made this. Uh, his name is Giuseppe Archimbaldo. All right, he uh, lived a long time ago, a painter from a country called Italy. All right, and he made a lot of these kind of really imaginative portraits. Uh, portrait is a picture of a person's face, right? He did all these portraits of people, but he did them by making them out of arrangements of fruits and vegetables and other things that he painted and combined to make the faces. So pretty neat, uh, pretty funny and silly. Um, so we're going to go ahead and let's watch a little video, a little cartoon here um, that will, hold on one moment, that will uh, show us a little bit um, about uh, this work in a fun way. So, and we'll see a little bit more from this artist. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and we'll go to the video and let's check it out, my friends, here we go. Ooh, look, what a beautiful picture of a woman. This one I call spring. Flowers and leaves and strawberries. A spring garden. A garden? It's a painting of a head with a hat on it. Yes, indeed. I see a woman's head. Uh, nope. It's a garden with flowers. Da da, that's an ear. <laughs> see, see. It is an ear on the flower. It depends where you are. You see two different things. Now you go close. And da, da you come uh, back here. The ear is a flower, and her skin is made of small flower petals. Da, da wow! It's a pretty lady. Ooh, flowers and a pretty lady. Pretty lady. Ooh, flowers. Pretty lady. <laughs> Amazing! It's two paintings in one. Whoa! Da, da wow! I love to make people smile and be amazed. Come, come. Please keep an eye out for my book. Oh, dear, yes. I'll keep looking for it, too. Archimboldo had the dragon costume worn by a horse in a parade. <laughs> Everyone was very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of using that again for tonight's big gala. A bowl of vegetables. Nice. Well, it's not a bowl of vegetables. It's a strange-looking man wearing a black hat. How can you say a bowl of vegetables is a man? Because it is. Um, I have to agree with Matty. It is an exemplary still life of vegetables. It's a man. From far and close, it's most definitely a bowl of vegetables. It's a man. <laughs> this is delightful confusion. It is a strange gardener. The basket is his hat. And it's also a fantastic -da -da painting of vegetables. It's amazing. His cheek is a big onion. It's tricky. 
I arrange things to look like people. It's interesting to look at something and see how it could be something so completely different. And they're all made of what they do. The vegetables making the gardener, spring flowers making a portrait of a spring woman, and all the books making the librarian. My book! Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. that's where it is. This must be a really tricky painting. I don't see anything. Ah, that would be mine. It was a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Librarian. Your art is so wonderful. I want to make a face out of different things, too. All right, friends. Okay. Do you want to make out a, a face out of different things, too? One of those tricky pictures? All right. Well, you're in luck. That's what we will be doing for this project. Uh, but we are going to start uh, with getting our different things ready. Uh, we're going to color uh, a sheet. Everyone should have a sheet that looks a bit like this that was in the um, supply pickup bags, I believe, back in December. Um, and we're going to use that. We're going to color in those fruits and vegetables and cut them out. Uh, that will be the work that we do today. Uh, and then you're going to want to save all of those fruits and vegetables uh, for our art lesson next week. Save them in a safe place where you won't lose them. Uh, so that we can use them next week to uh, make our faces, okay? You don't need to make the face yet today. It's just going to be a lot of work um, getting these colored and cut out. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my camera, and you can work along with me. Go ahead and get your sheet and get ready. Get your coloring stuff, your markers, right? Or if you've got crayons, anything you'd like to use for coloring, you could even use your paint if you'd like. Remember to get your, uh, your bowl of water then, and don't forget to wash your brush nice um, when you're all done. And remember all of those um, good tips that we learned about um, washing the brush between switching colors and stirring for five seconds with the water and the color to get a nice deep color um, if you're gonna be painting. But you can use, just use markers or crayons if you'd like, um, it's up to you. So get those supplies together. You'll need your scissors too um, for the very end. But uh, you can work right along with me. I'm going to switch to my desktop camera here where you see my worksheet. And I'm going to start coloring. Um, start with my tomato up in the top corner there. And I know um, with a lot of these uh, fruits and vegetables, um, they come in different colors, right? I've seen green tomatoes. I've seen yellow tomatoes. I've seen red tomatoes. So you're going to decide uh, which color you want yours to be. I'm gonna make mine red. I like a good um, juicy red tomato um, and I love tomato sauce, um, like spaghetti sauce and pizza sauce. So that's just why I'm picking red for mine. But maybe you want your tomato uh, to be a different color. You decide. Um, today we're just going to be coloring in the fruits and vegetables on our worksheets so that they will be ready for us next week. And you can be coloring right along with me as we watch the video here. And there we go, got my tomato colored in. I'm gonna make that little, uh, little stem part of the tomato, I'll make that green. And then, uh, well, I've got my green out I know these here, those are kind of hard to tell what those are. Those are olives. I don't know if uh, you've ever seen olives before, uh, but olives of course come in different colors too. There's uh, black olives, there's green olives, there's even kind of purplish olives that I've seen. All right, and then sometimes green olives have this little, um, it's called a pimento, a little red thing stuffed inside of them. So I did that with my olives. You can make yours however you want. And uh, this next to that, that's a raspberry. Um, and there's even, there's black raspberries, there's red raspberries. I'll make mine um, a red raspberry. All right, and then I'm just gonna go through all of my different vegetable, vegetables on the sheet. 
and fruits, just, you know, taking my time. Let's do my best to color, right? We're just trying our best. That's all we do. We're here to learn and practice. And there we go. I got the green part of my carrot. And I know what color is the main part of a carrot. Orange, right? So that's the part we like to chomp on and eat and snack on. There's my big orange carrot over here. And got a potato here. I'm going to color my potato uh, brown. But I've even seen yellow potatoes. Okay. Um, I've seen red potatoes. Lots of different varieties of fruits and vegetables that maybe we've seen at the store or snacked on at home. Um, there we go. There's my potato. And here's a pear. Pears also come in lots of colors. I've seen yellow pears. I've seen green pears. I've seen red pears. I've seen brown pears. I'm going to make this one a yellow pear. Maybe you've even seen um, other colors of these things that I don't even mention. Uh, the point is just to color them all in here. And uh, when you're all done coloring them in, you're just going to do your best uh, to cut them out and then keep them in a safe place um, wherever you like. I'm going to color these. Those could be, maybe those are lime slices. Maybe they're lemon slices. Maybe they're orange slices. I'm going to make mine orange slices, but you're going to decide yourself what those are. And I could even do, if I wanted, I could have done one in orange and one a lemon. All right, but um, I see right next, right next door here, that that's got to be a lemon. That sure looks like a lemon to me. And I know I'm seeing yellow lemons. That's like the only kind of lemon I've ever seen. Um, so I think there are um, greenish yellow lemons too. Um, limes obviously are green. All right, and then uh, you just finish um, cutting, coloring and cutting out. I'm gonna just go ahead and start I'm cutting the ones I have just so our video isn't uh, too long here. Maybe I'll finish this with you uh, when the video is over. And I'm gonna show you a little tip uh, with cutting. So it's these are difficult shapes to cut out. So what I think is easier, and remember, keep your hand, don't put your hand in front of your scissors. I just cut out around them. And I don't worry so much about white parts showing the first time I cut them out, because I can go back later and I can cut more of that white part out. But right now, I just cut them out in groups or with a lot of the white edges showing, that's fine. And then I can go back later, like here, and then I can cut those out separately. There we go. And then I could even come back later and I could cut closer to the outline of the fruits. All right, it's up to you um, how much you cut, how much of the white parts you cut away, but the more of the white part that you cut away, um, the easier it'll be next week when we put these together and arrange them into a picture. All right, so I'm just trying to get, and I've got some white parts showing on mine yet too. That's okay. If you wanna really go for the super challenge and try to fit or try to do your cuts right on the black line, uh, you certainly can, right? It's you decide what challenge feels best for you. Okay, there we go. Cut a little bit off of there. There's my tomato. And I could continue. Um, obviously, I'd want to continue coloring and cutting out my pieces. Uh, but once you've got them all colored and cut out, then you will be set uh, for this week. So uh, I'm going to switch back to my regular face. And I'll be working along with you 
um, as our video ends. But uh, I think that gives you an idea of what we are doing this week. Just remember, you want to save all these little bits. They're so easy to lose, right? Save them in a safe place, maybe a plastic bag if you've got that, so that we have them all ready for us next week. All right, friends, it's work time. Let's get to it.